Well, hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wassman, and today we are going to be tackling some division number stories. We are in our home links, Unit 7, Lesson 7, so let's get right to it. It says, solve, show your work. Short and to the point. I like it. Let's read problem number one. It says, Robert and Jason want to buy a group ticket package for football games. Package A costs $276 and includes two tickets for each of six games. Package B costs $336 and includes two tickets for each of eight games. Which package charges more per ticket? How much more per ticket? Ah, oh, well, you know, when I have a number story, I like to use the uh, strategy of ruckus. And if you've ever listened to one of my uh, explanation videos before, you could probably recite this acronym back to me. But if this is your first time, ruckus stands for Reread the story problem, underline the question, circle the important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve it. Well, I can already tell you what my action plan is going to be because the title of this activity is Division. Okay, so there's got to be some division involved, right? But there might be something else. Let's see. So let's reread this, and as I do, I'm going to circle important information, and I'm going to underline questions. So Robert and Jason want to buy a group ticket package for football games. Package A costs $276 and includes two tickets for each of six games. Package B costs $336 and includes two tickets for each of eight games. Which package charges more per ticket? How much more per ticket? So as you can see, we're going to have to do two uh, rounds of division, dividing the cost for packet A and dividing the cost of packet B per ticket. Now there's something you might have missed in that first or second pass through with the problems. For example, package A costs $276 and includes two tickets for each of six games. How many tickets is that? That's right, two groups of six is 12. So in order for me to figure out the uh, exact cost of a ticket for package A, I'm going to have to divide the total price by the total number of tickets I get for that price, which is 276 divided by 12. And right now, some of you are thinking to yourself, but Mr. Waspin, we haven't done double-digit divisors yet. This is breaking my brain. Well, never fear, friends because I have an alternative for you. So instead of dividing 276 by 12, I'm going to first divide 276 by 6, and then whatever answer I get, I divide that in half. Because for six games, I need two tickets for both Robert and Jason. So Robert and Jason can split the cost of each pair of tickets. All right, so let's divide 276 by 6, shall we? Well, I know that I can't get 100 groups of 6 out of 276 because 6 times 100 is 600. So I need to think in terms of 10s. Okay, so I get 0 groups of 100 out of 276 because 0 times 6 is 0. Subtract. Bring down. And now I have 27. 27 10s. So I repeat my process. How many groups of 6 can I get out of 27? Well, my knowledge of multiples really helps here because I know that 6 times 4, or the 4th multiple of 6, is 24, and the 5th multiple of 6, or 5 times 6, is 30. So the best I can do is 4 groups of 6 because 4 times 6 is 24. Now I'm going to subtract that, which gives me 3. I'm going to bring down the 6 which then gives me 36, which I know is divisible by 6, because, of course, 6 times 6 is 36. So now I subtract the difference, and I'm left with 0 as my remainder. So I know that buying 6 pairs of tickets would cost $46. Now what I want to do is divide $46 in half to see how much Robert's going to pay and how much Jason's going to pay. Well... 2 times 2 is 4, so I can divide 4 into 2 groups. And 6 can be divided by 2 3 times, because 3 times 2 is 6. There we go. Voila! 
23. 23 what? 23 dollars per ticket. Okay, so I'm going to make myself a little note. Package A. $23 per ticket. Now what I need to do is ne I need to figure out the value for uh, the $336 package that gives me two tickets to eight games. Let's see if that's a better deal. 336 divided by the number of tickets. Now again, with two groups of eight, it would be 16 tickets, but I'm not going to divide 336 by 18 with you today, okay? Maybe in fifth grade we could do that, but right now we're still mastering this long division stuff. So let's divide it first by 8, and then I'll divide the price per pair of tickets in half to find the individual price. So here we go again. 8 times 100 is 800, so I can't get a group of 100 out of 336 because 0 times 8 is 0. I subtract, I bring down, now instead of 300, I'm looking at 33 tens. How many groups of eight can I get out of 33 tens? Well, again, my knowledge of multiples helps me here uh, because eight times four, or the fourth multiple, is 32. That's real close to 33. So I'm going to multiply eight times four. I'm going to subtract the difference. I'm going to bring down six. Okay, so now I have 16. Hey. 16 is just 2 times 8, right? So I'm going to multiply 8 times 2, subtract the difference, and boom! I now have my price per pair of tickets. It's $42. Okay. So now what I have to do is I have to divide 42 between the two gentlemen, Robert and Jason. And look at that. It's less expensive because 42 is just 21 times 2, okay? So package B, is $21 a ticket. So, to answer the question, okay, which package charges more per ticket, package A, charges the difference between 23 and 21, which is some mental math I'm sure you can do, which is $2 per ticket. All right? So, division number stories involving some division. Huh, who would have guessed? Now, I'm going to let you tackle problem number two on your own because, you know, I modeled a multi-step division number story problem for you. Now, let's see if you can do it. All right? So I'm just going to leave you with a quick review of how to multiply a three-digit number by a one-digit number. I'm going to choose 831 times 7. So I've got a number of strategies I can use. I think I'm going to use partial products today. So 831. 831. I just broke down that problem into hundreds, tens, and ones. And I'm going to multiply each part by the other factor, that's 7. So 800 times 7, three, 30 times 7, and 1 times 7. Now I know that 8 times 7 is 56, and because there are two zeros behind that 8, I'm going to add two zeros behind the 56, which makes it 5,600, or 56 hundreds. 3 times 7 is 21, but the next zero is 210, and of course, 1 times 7 is 7. I'm going to add it all up, like so. Before you know it, I have my product. I bet a couple months ago, multiplying 831 times 7 looked downright impossible. But you've had some time, some practice. Now it seems like no big deal, right? That's the amazing part about learning something over time. It gets easier as you practice. So if dividing large numbers and comparing quotients and so forth seems intimidating now, you just got to rest assured that down the road with enough practice and with help from your math teacher, you're going to get this too. Okay? I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you still need help, you know what to do. You need to talk to your math teacher.
tell them, hey, I'm still a little uneasy about this. This is still rather new. Can you show it to me one more time? They would be happy to help you. Okay? Till we meet again, friends, have a good day.